Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create this pretty phone mockup in an outdoor environment with After Effects and Element 3D plugin. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to create a new composition. Uh, so let's name this uh, mockup. Uh, let's go with full HD 60 frames per second. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is to create a new solid layer. Uh, let's name it device. Okay. So with this layer selected, let's go to effect, uh, video copilot, and select elements. And let's go to scene setup. So from here, we can import our 3D models of the phone, which is this OBJ file. So let's import it. Okay, and for some reason that is uh, a little bit too small, so I'm going to just bring it up to 1000% at the scale uh, parameter here. No, just 1000, not 10,000. All right, so uh, let's just bring it up vertically uh, to 90 degree. All right, so we have the model here, as you can see. It, that it came up with a bunch of uh, different material here that you can play around with. Uh, you can also drop it down with a bunch of lists of mat the same material is being applied here. And you can turn on and off the material to see that which part of these, any of these material is being applied to. So the first thing really important is to turn off the glass because, because I, I don't think we need it, it's uh, kind of cover everything, so just make sure to turn off the glass material here. Alright, so now let's just adjust this aluminum dark, uh, which is the, 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 the edge of the device. So I'm going to go with the, the something uh, a little bit like orange, like, like this, brown like this. And we can also bring up the uh, reflectivity. Uh, so I'm going to make it a little bit more shinier and we can also adjust the color of the reflectivity Maybe let's go with something uh, Like this Okay, so let's go with this for now So uh, let's adjust also adjust the back of the device So uh, I'm not sure which one is the back this one. All right, cool so let's select this materials and go to this fuse color and let's change it to black. Alright, so the next thing we need to do now is to load the design to the screen area here. So let's click OK and go back to this view. So this is the um, motion file that I'm going to load to the design, which is an MP4 video. So I'm going to right click on it and create a new comp. So let's go back here and drag this composition here. And you can just uh, mute it or hide it. We just need it to be here, we don't need to see it. And then let's select the device um, layer and go to custom layer and custom texture map. And from here, from layer one, let's select this custom Mario ring comp, which is this one here. So assign it to this layer 1. And now let's go back to scene setup. And let's select the screen material, which is to be applying to the whole screen area here. So select it. And then let's select the diffuse channels. So from this drop down, let's select custom layer 1. And click OK. So now you can see that the design has been reflected to the 3D markup here. So if you click OK and go back and then you can see that it's follow the, the whole motions. So the next thing we need to do is to create the environment. So let's go back to scene setup and let's import this uh, ground OBJ file. So it's going to give you this uh, ground object here. So let's just bring it adjust this to the right position 
so let's give this some material by go to presets so i have this uh, broad shader installed here this not come with the um, element 3d by default we have to uh, uh, purchase this uh, from um, a video copilot but uh, you can always create some material from scratch but i would prefer to use this because it's so much faster so let's try with this ground sand uh, okay so we can go to uh, this material tab and uh, scale just make the, the the tiling smaller by adjusting this uv So now let's load the the environment to the scene. So we can click on environment, and this is the environment that I'm using now. But we need to change it to the outdoor environment, which is this uh, photos. So let's select this. Okay, and now you can see that the new environment just just kind of affect the whole scene vibe. It's with the different color, different. Um, um, look and feel uh, so we can al also turn this on to see how it looks like with the environment but we don't need to see it now so let's go back to the scene thing so you see that the ground here but there's no environment and then we can go to render setting and drop it down and from the physical environment we can rotate the environment or you can even turn on the environment to see how it look like but this not looking really good so I'm not going to uh, to to use the environment from element 3d instead I'm going to turn it off and go to my library and select the actual photo here and drag it here so we have this photo layer uh, right below the device layer so we have something like this and turn on this 3D mode so this layer has become 3D so I can just go to position and move it away from further away from the cameras uh, something like this and I can even scale it down a little bit and move it down like this so now let's create a new camera layer and okay so with this camera um, selected you can hit C to switch between different camera control tool here so you can just you know rotate everything around or you can zoom in alright so we basically have the scene set up here but it's not looking really good because the color is not good and the lighting is not good so we can select this device layer and go to render setting and we can play around with all of these uh, environment and lighting setting to find the best looking uh, combination to it 
so I'm going to try something with the, the additional lighting so let's go here and select natural lighting and then we, let's reduce it a little bit and we can rotate the lighting direction around to find the best um, lighting angle like this and one other very important thing is to turn on this ambient occlusion so we can have a little bit of shadow you can see that if I turn it off there's no shadow but if I turn this on there's a little bit of shadow here we can also bring up the intensity uh, here by 6 maybe too much maybe 4 like this so we can also create a additional light by go to layer and create a new light layer so let's go with a white light okay so as you can see when we have the lights comes up and the, the background is just turned into black uh, so what we need to do is just go to by maybe something like this so as you can see that this kind of filter will just make everything work together better so everything the colors just feel like they are blending in more uh, naturally and more um, beautifully so you can always try different kind of um <laughs>